up egg lads? been a lot of great players uh, through the years at the club and um, maybe one or two sort of drifted away at times and um, ha haven't got a chance to sort of say cheerio and, and, and as a player so I'm just glad that today I'm able to get that opportunity to say cheerio to some of the supporters that come along today to, to say cheerio as a, on, on the pitch as a player one last time and um, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm not going anywhere I'm still saying part of the first team staff and part still part of the club so I think uh, from that perspective, it's, it's 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 good. It's good for me to still be part of the club. It's good for Elliot that, that he gets uh, honoured by the club. I mean, he's been a great servant for 20 years. But it's great to see all the boys. It's it's been a great day so far. Hopefully, there's not too many old injuries uh, reoccurring here during the game. But no, fair play. Elliot's deserving of it. Um, I think we've just come out from a team talk where Roy Coyle said he's one of his best signs, and I have to agree with that. Yeah, it's it's great to be here. I was up from about eight o'clock this morning. I couldn't wait because you know you see all the players that are here today that have come out to, to pay tribute to Elliot, and it's great to come and you know catch up with all the, the old friends and you know all the old stories and get to play a game. Even with his performances that first season or two, um, where we started winning and winning trophies, I thought he'd been back across the water no time. But it's a testament to him and the high he feels about Glen Town. No, I heard a story, I read one of the stories, and he says. Uh, he gets up in the morning thinking about Glenturn, he goes home thinking about Glenturn um, and that's where it kind of my zeals at this club. You know, he's, um, he's a treasure for the club and uh, he's left a legacy as well and, uh, and he's an absolute gentleman. And also you had the, the gaffer giving you as a team talk again and seeing those familiar faces must have been nice. Yeah, it was, it was a great moment actually, you know, and, and, you know when the gaffer was speaking you, you could still hear a pin drop, he's got so much respect, all the boys that are here you know, respecting them and for what we all achieved and, and playing under them and you know, that was a nice moment for all the lads and it was, it was a good, you know, a good laugh as well and as I say, it's just been great to catch up with everybody and great occasion and hopefully a great day for Elliot. A model for younger kids uh, and he, he sort of epitomises what Glen Torn is and everything about Glen Torn and, and he's kind of the last of the of the, of the brigade, as you call it, from from our kind of era, that's that, that's you know stepping down now, as I say. But listen, an absolute credit to, to him and his family and everyone around him. He's been fantastic at Glen Torn and, and, and up, certainly on the playing side. But what he can give back now in the coaching side, other people will benefit that from that. But he's he's been absolutely superb. The guy's just a legend, you know. For anyone who can play for one club for for 20 years, I don't think he'll ever see it again. And you know that many times in, in, in football and. You know what he's contributed to this club is, is second to none, and he'll go down as a as a legend forever in Glen Torn's history.